Hey there Assassins, I'm Andrew Benige, Community Manager on Assassin's Creed, here with a video Q&A for you. Now with Assassin's Creed Identity releasing soon, we caught up with and put some questions to the creative director on the game from the Ubisoft Blue Byte studio, Renel Francois. Assassin's Creed Identity is the first action RPG in the Assassin's Creed universe. We also went back uh, to fan favorite uh, Italian Renaissance, Firenze, Roma, etc. Uh, it also offers a very unique uh, open RPG gameplay uh, allowing you to play the game uh, in different ways. What is the difference between Assassin's Creed Identity and previous Assassin's Creed titles? AC Identity is really a new experience that we wanted to bring uh, to the AC universe. So the idea was really to bring on mobile the iconic gameplay like the open mission structure, free running, the assassination move, uh, the state of the art graphics, all of that in bite-sized chunks you could play on your mobile even when on the move because what we wanted to do is to make it accessible for newcomers and all players alike but more importantly really make the whole Assassin's Creed universe available in your pocket. Can you give us a bit of an overview on how the controls work? The controls are something super important and we really wanted to make sure that we support everything from single tap control to more gamey controls. So you can play with a single tap finger and pretty much play the whole game like that or you can switch to snappier like dual vitreous stick controls or we even support gamepads and to be honest the experience when you play with the gamepad is pretty close to the console titles. Personally, I use a mix of both single tap and dual virtual sticks when I just want to cruise around in cities. As we know, a big part of any action RPG is customization. So how is Assassin's Creed Identity tackling this? This is a true action RPG. You're gonna create your assassin from the four classes we got at launch. Berserker, Shadowblade, Trickster, and Thief, and unlock more things as you go. You can train your character and pick the skills uh, that complement your, your own playstyle. Like for example, you could go with the crit specialized hit and red shadow blade, or if you play Berserker, you could go either tanky or class cannon. On top of that, you got the loot, tons of loot. Playing the missions will get you a bunch of items you can then uh, gear yourself up or use those items to craft them by forging them into better equipment. What is important is that we really want you to play uh, the character the way you want it that will support your playstyle. Can you tell us a little bit about how battles and assassinations will work in game? We have a touch-based combat which is all about timing and positioning. For instance, you might want to try to overpower the guards and kill them as fast as you can so you can focus on the big guy or the other way around, maybe you want to stun that guy to then be able to deal with the witlings first. This all depends also on the character you are playing. Each class is at their own strength and signature moves. If you play Berserker, for instance, you have this awesome area of effect attack which is just knocking everyone down and doing tons of damage. If you're playing a Shadow Blade and you see, you see things are going bad, you might just want to use a smoke bomb and flee from combat. This is important that you have something that fits your playstyle, but the most important is that the whole missions are providing you with an array of tools you can use uh, to solve combat situations. When the game soft launched, it was free to play. Can you tell us a little bit about the upcoming launch and the hardware specifications? During the development uh, for the soft launch we had in New Zealand and in Australia over the last year, we got amazing feedback from the community and based on that, we realized that uh, not going free to play with that title was the right thing to do. The release date is scheduled on the 25th of February this year, 2016, and the game is gonna be on all iOS uh, 7 and up devices, which means uh, iPhone 5 and iPad 3 and up. Can you tell us a little bit about the story of Assassin's Creed Identity and the missions that will be playable? There's a story in Assassin's Creed Identity which is about the Crows, a mysterious faction I'm not really gonna tell you about. But playing this story from novice to Grandmaster Assassin is actually just the beginning, a gateway to the world of Assassin's Creed. Will players have the freedom to be able to perform the actions that they know from the console titles? In Assassin's Creed Identity, we really worked on giving you this freedom of movement that is so iconic for the Assassin's Creed title. Running, jumping, climbing, vaulting, all those acrobatics, you got them there. To be honest, I always get this awesome thrill when I'm on top of the Colosseum and doing a leap of face down in the haystack. All of that in my pocket, on my device, that's awesome. 
We've received some questions about known locations from Assassin's Creed. Will there be any in Assassin's Creed Identity? We're going to start with state locations from the uh, Assassin's Creed Italian era. Roma, Firenze, even Monte Legioni. You're going to be able to visit the Colosseo, the Vatican, or the Palazzo de Vecchio, for instance. What were some of the challenges you faced putting a game like this on a mobile device? We're really proud of what we managed to do there. We worked really hard on getting this sense of scale that you can have from the original Assassin's Creed title. We got the Colosseum, the Santa Croce Cathedral, the River Tiber in Roma next to the Vatican, and you can get this awesome sense of freedom that you have by just running around and climbing and jumping from just about anywhere in the level. This is a unique experience that you get on your mobile device in your pocket. And that's it for this video Q&A. Make sure you subscribe to the Assassin's Creed YouTube channel to keep up to date with Assassin's Creed videos. Take care and bye for now.